Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hart self-propelled brushless 20-inch self-propelled lawnmower. This is available at Walmart. Uh, included in the box you have the battery, the charger, uh, the lawnmower, and the bagging system. It is a brushless motor, so it has a little bit more power. It is a well-built machine, as you can see. Pretty decent uh, quality plastic. It has a single lever adjustment for your deck. It goes from one and a half to four inches. A lot of newer mowers are coming with that, and I do like that feature. Uh, it is pretty decent quality. The plastic seems pretty durable. Here's the battery compartment. It has a cover that goes over it. It's in the up position right now, but when it closes, it uh, waterproofs the battery. Here's a handle to help you move the mower around. It also helps you move it when it's in the upright position. This blue lever right here adjusts your handle up or down. There's a lot of adjustments on this mower. Here's another adjustment. This little blue knob is once again will raise your handle up or down into the comfortable position for your height. Uh, I'm five foot nine, five foot ten, and the adjustment seems nice to me. Uh, it was very comfortable when I was using the mower. Here's another closer picture of that blue knob. It comes with a LED light. If you ever need to mow it, uh, mow at night, I don't see why I'd ever want to use that, but it does come with it. Here's a side angle of the brushless 40 volt system with the single lever position handle. Here's a close up of the self propelled speed, the min and the max on the handle. Pretty easy with your thumb to adjust. And there's your bagging system with your handle right there in the back. The bagging system. That's with this has a little plug a handle you pull out to, to actually bag. If you don't bag, you put the plug back in. The bag is of good quality. Uh, what you would expect from any type of mower. I haven't really seen a cheap bagger, but this this quality seems pretty decent. Has a nice blue handle just to, for ease of use to pull it in and out. The battery is a uh, 40 volt 5 amp battery. I got the cheaper battery. Has a little light tester on there so you can see how much uh, power is left on the battery. Some of the product details here we have a 20 inch brushless self propelled mower that's idea for yards up to about a half acre in size i think the battery for the five amp only lasts about 45 to 50 minutes in a, in a thick grass environment doesn't have a pull cord it has a push button start i'll show you that later on in the video it's brushless technology it has a single point height adjustment one and a half to four inches instead of adjusting each wheel individually you can just adjust all four wheels at one time it has on Board battery storage. It carries two batteries at once that allows you to continue mowing when one of your batteries is out of power. Once again, it's a 40 volt system, has no gas, 20 inch brushless self propelled 5 amp hour battery. Uh, everything that it comes with is a battery charger, comes with the storage folding handles, and it also comes with um, the battery, the charger, the owner's manual, and the actual bagger. The weight is very light, it's a very light, lightweight mower at only 58 pounds. Looking at the warranty, it has a three year battery warranty and a five year tool warranty. Here are the specs 40 volt, 20 inch, mulching, bagging, one and a half to four inch cutting height with a weight of 58 pounds. Here's an overview of the uh, mowers, what it looks like again, good quality. The two batteries with one of the storage. Uh, here's a picture of the battery with the testing light on it. You just push the button. It'll tell you how much battery is left. comes with the charger. Here's what the charger looks like. And here's what the underneath of the deck looks like. It also has a nice storage where it can be stored in the upright position with the flip of those two blue knobs. Uh, looking at the Walmart website here, the price was $322 when I bought the mower. It's 5 amp hour battery. I went with a lower battery uh, just for get the cheaper price. And I don't have too big of a yard. It lasted, the battery lasted about 45 to 50 minutes. Overall, for the uh, mower, uh, there's some things I like and disliked about the mower. Uh, like I said, the battery lasted about 45 to 50 minutes. I had a good cut. Uh, I cut it during dry conditions. Uh, wet conditions, I have my doubt it's going to do a really good job. It doesn't have that kind of power. Uh, as far as mulching leaves, I didn't test it for that either, but I think mulching leaves, it would kind of struggle. It just doesn't have a whole lot of power. It is with the better technology for this lawnmower here with the five amp, five amp hour battery. It just doesn't have a whole lot of lifting 
to lift up the grass in wet conditions and mulch it real well or mulch up leaves. I haven't tested it out, but just from using it in dry conditions. In dry conditions, it cuts really well. I have no complaints on that. Uh, it's really lightweight. Uh, it, lightweight makes it easy to maneuver. Uh, lightweight uh, also comes with some disadvantages. The disadvantages I see with the lightweight is I have a very bumpy yard. So I have some maple trees that have some roots at the top of the surface. It just kind of bumps around. Here's the uh, overall look of the mower and the actual usage of the mower. Uh, like I said, it's got uh, several adjustment points on the handle. Right there on the top is your blue start button, your blade engagement. Uh, the blue handle is your self-propel function on it. Like I said, numerous points on the handle to adjust it to your liking. Putting in the battery is easy. Just flip up the cover. I'm doing this one-handed, so excuse me for the camera angle. And you just push it in, and it just clicks in really nicely. You can test the battery by pushing the tester in there. It will tell you how many lights you have for how much uh, usage of the battery you have left. This is the grass I'm going to be cutting. It's pretty tall, pretty thick, but it is dry. All right, to start the mower, you just simply push the blue button there. And this is what it sounds like running. Pretty quiet mower. Here's your self propel that has minimum and maximum. You adjust it with your thumb as you're going down. It is a very quiet mower. Uh, that's the one of the pros of having a battery powered mower versus gas. I'm trying to video and push the mower with one hand. You can tell the noise of the mower is really nice and quiet. You can see the mower really kind of bouncing around. That's what I was saying. This thing is so light at 58 pounds. Uh, as you're trying to mow the grass, if it's not a completely smooth yard, the mower is going to bounce around a lot. Uh, versus a gas mower is a lot heavier, probably in the 90 to 120 pound range. Has a little bit more weight to keep the mower on the ground a little better. So it bounces around a little bit. Nothing too annoying. Uh, you're looking for something of ease of use that's really lightweight this is the mower it's gonna that's going to uh, be nice so for the self propel function you can see I can press the handle here there is a delay you can see that delay right there uh, when you release the handle it does stop pretty fast push the handle again and there's that delay the delay takes a little bit of getting used to from a gas where it's instantaneous electric it's not instantaneous on this mower other mowers maybe it would be You can see it bumping around where my maple trees are, how it's kind of bumping around. I am doing it one-handed. Um, like I said, if, if you're looking for a lightweight mower with no gas, no engine maintenance, um, these mowers are good. I don't know if other brands do a better job or not. This is the only uh, battery-powered mower I've tested. But uh, they are really lightweight, easy to maneuver. maneuver. I will give it that. The self-propelled function on this seems to be an okay speed for most, most people. Um, I usually use either Toros or Hondas. Toros or Hondas seem like they go uh, a lot faster than what this one does. But this does have adequate speed uh, for what you need. It stripes pretty good. You can see the stripes. I'll show you some more pictures of the stripes here in a second. Uh, the actual cutting seems like it cuts the grass pretty well. Uh, like I said, this is dry conditions. It is tall, probably about four and a half, five inches, uh, but it stripes really well. These are the after pictures of the mowing. Uh, it's done a fantastic job with the mowing. Overall, I do recommend this mower. If you have a smaller yard, you're looking for a lightweight mower with no maintenance. Uh, if you have a bigger yard or you have an uneven yard as far as the bumps, I would probably recommend uh, sticking with a gas mower, which has a little bit more weight to it. So this is my review of the uh, Hart uh, 20. Uh, for, I'm sorry, 40 volt, 20 inch self propelled brushless mower. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And uh, there are some affiliate links below for Walmart and Amazon to purchase this mower. If you do like it, I do appreciate it. I do get a slight uh, commission for that that will keep me posting review videos like this.